All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of The Wheel of Fortune. It's Series 3, Episode 7, okay? And we can go up to Division 7 today if we get a draw in our first game. We need just one point. My main mission from this episode, though, is to avoid the bankrupt segment because we keep hitting it, seems like, every single episode. Obviously, it's not in my control. It's the wheel's choice, but I'm hoping the wheel will be good to us. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you're enjoying the series. And now, as you know, before we play our first game, we need to spin the wheel. Let's do it. Right, bang. We have got 2,495 coins in the bank, all right? We, we're actually doing okay for coins considering how many times we've been made bankrupt, but I'd love to be able to spend it on a nice, cheeky player. Buy any player, perhaps? Obviously, when we land on buying any player, we can sell any players we've got in the club as well to get that number up. But it's going to be a challenge time, okay? First game of the episode will be a FIFA challenge sent in by you guys. Let's see what it is. Bing. Okay. FIFA challenge time. I do enjoy a FIFA challenge. We've done two already this series and we've won them both. Will we win this one? The challenge is... Bang. Oh, I've ripped it. It's been sent from uh, Geelong United and the, 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 the chosen one, he calls himself. Uh, Spencer Owen, you have to choose the slowest player for each position that you have in your club and play a game. Cheers, Spenny. The slowest player in every position. So I'm not going to have much pace in this game. As you know, if I win by three goals or more, I get five packs. If I win by less than three goals, I get three packs. If I draw, I get one pack. If I lose, I lose the worst performing player from the team that I use. So it's a team of slow coaches. We'll call it the slow coach challenge. Let's do it. Okay, I've made my team and it is very, very slow. All right, we've got a lot of bronzes in there. We've got bronze strike force, 38 pace Scully. 50 pace and Selmo. In centre mid, we've got Brown, who's an English player uh, playing for Port Vale. He has 31 pace next to Frank Lampard, who has 43 pace. But we know Frank Lampard can bang them. On the right midfield, we've got 64 pace. On the wide, the reason I've gone with a 4 4 2 is that the sort of right mid, left mid, right back, left back tend to not be that slow, even, even though they're the slowest in that position in my club. This right mid's got 64 pace. My right back's got 65 pace. My left mid's got 74 pace. That's my slowest left midfielder. And uh, my left back's got 72 pace. So there's a little bit of pace on the, on the flanks there. In centre back, we've got 31 pace, Amor Brietta, and 28 pace, Halloween special, Ultimate Scream, Pear Mertesacker. In goal, McGregor. We don't have pace for goalkeepers, but I've just gone with him because he's a little bit of chemistry with Mertesacker. So that's the team, 57 chemistry. That's where it's really hurting me. Not so much the pace, but because I've had to go with the slowest players, they haven't really got any links chemistry-wise with the players around them. There's a few orange links, but nothing special. On the bench, we've got Schweinsteiger, San Jose, John O'Shea, uh, Sigurdsson, who started the series with us, uh, Berrier, Park Sung Ho, and Sokolski, all of which are very, very slow indeed. That is officially our slowest team. We only need one point though to get the title. I think we can do it with these boys. We've just got to shut up shop and play on the floor. Nothing to run after. We'll be okay. Let's go. Right, let's see if my opponent's got any pace. He's got Slimani, Nolito. You know what? That's not that fast. mkhitaryan has got a bit of pace. He's got Ramsey. He's got Chaka. He's got Eriksson. Although Eriksson playing CDM. He's got Sacco. He's got John Terry who's quite slow at the back. Ivanovic, Danny Rose and Fabianski. Okay. That team's good but it's not that fast. Right, Tyrone. We've got to not try and run after any balls because we're just not going to get there. Here, Mertesacker against Nolito. It's not fair, is it? It's just not fair. Mertesacker, just stand him up. Oh, no cross. Get rid of that. Well out. Good tackle from Frankie Lampard. Good blocking, boys. That's what I like to see. Back to the wall job. Frank Lampard, you can do something for us. Frank Lampard into Anselmo. Anselmo, play that through ball. Go on. Oh, he's done him. Go on, Scully. You still got this, Scully. Finds Anselmo. Anselmo, just bang it! Oh, he's in the back of the net. Who are you, Anselmo? I don't know, but I like you. What a strike. We're 1-0 up with the slowest team this side of the Mississippi. What a strike on the left peg of Anselmo. Oh, no. He's done me. Stand him up, boys. Stand him up, boys. Oh, you're kidding. It's a good strike, you know. Chaka has scored it. It's 1-0. I thought we were going to just see this one out 1-0, you know, but it's not going to happen. We need to go again. Scully. Bang. Finds Lampard, who can bang them. Frankie Lampard hits it on the left foot. It was good. Mertesacker versus Nolito again. Come on, Mertesacker, just stand him up. Oh, no, he's got a room here. He's got room here. Good save, McGregor. Brown, play that through ball. Chance here. Get it back in. Lovely play. Scully! Oh, 
Right on the half-time whistle, we make it 2-1. We've hardly had any chances, but we're taking them. We're being efficient. You know why? Because we have to be. Scully, we hardly knew ye. Look at this little bit of tomfoolery there. Fake shot. He goes back. Drops the shoulder, lovely finesse finish from Scully. There's a half-time whistle, great timing. Pretty even game, to be fair, very close. No, keeper, get there for me, keeper, get there for me. McGregor, you lad. Oh my God, he's done it twice. McGregor, what a man. Defend, boys, defend. Defend with all you've got, lads. Please, defend for me. Oh my God, McGregor is the best keeper of all time. It's official. Garcia, bang, to Brown, Brown, to Lampard, Frank Lampard. Yes, to Scully, who beats his man. Scully! Scully! Who is he? What a hero! Scully gets his second of the game. Surely we've got the points wrapped up. What a win this will be with the slowest players of all time. Scully doesn't need pace when he's got a left foot made of absolute candy floss. And I mean that as a compliment. There's the final whistle. Another challenge won. We've won all our challenges so far. I'm pretty happy with that. And that was a slow, slow team, but we made it work. Man of the match goes to Scully, two goals for him, one for Anselmo, an assist for Scully, Brown and Lampard. Love it. Of course, that win has secured us the title as well. We're going up and we get three packs as a reward. We didn't win by three goals or more, but because we won, we get three packs. Let's open them. And I got 4,000 coins as well. Oh, beautiful. The good news is we've got more of these premium gold player packs for the ultimate screen. So we can open three of these. We could get someone special. Pack number one. What's it going to be? It's going to be a rare. It's going to be a CDM from Spain. It's going to be Camacho. We've got Jeremy Menez as well. It's decent. Perez. Dos Santos. Benaglio. We've got some good players in there. Rob Les. All right, we'll send them all to the club. What about pack number two? What are you saying, pack number two? It's another rare card. It's going to be a, an American CDM from Toronto. It's going to be Bradley, son of the new Swansea manager, Bob Bradley. It's Michael Bradley. We've got Fred. He's a good player. I like him. Who else we got in here? Anyone decent? Stephen Ireland. This right back's pretty fast. Decent silver there. I will send them to club and we'll quick sell the duplicates. And the third and final pack is gonna be another rare, no ultimate scream. It's a, oh, it's a French striker, it's gonna be Giroud. Now, Wheel of Fortune Series 1, he was the assist king, Olivier Giroud. He kept setting people up. Wonder if he'll do it this series for us. Giroud, we've got Nem as well, or he'll link very well with Fred, who we just got in the last pack. We've got a Belgian, we've got Yanazai. Uh, okay. That's not too bad. We'll send them all to the club. But before we use any of those new players, we need to spin the wheel, of course. Let's see what it's got for us. Oh, I've spun it the wrong way there. Okay, 7,821 coins. That's nice. That's good. Please don't make us bankrupt again, because that would really kick us. I'm on a high right now. I don't need a low. I do not need a low, okay? Don't be bankrupt, please. What is it going to be, Will? Where is it going to finish? It's going to be somewhere around the top region. It's going to be open one pack, the open one pack challenge. So we've got to open one more pack, and everyone we get in the pack, we have to use in the next game. Okay, we, we did forget one rule last time we did this though. The proper one pack challenge rule is, if you win the game with those players, you get to use whatever coins you have in your bank at that time to buy as many players as you want. You can just use them on one player or loads of players. If you draw the game, you get to keep the players in that pack. If you lose the game, you lose all the players you just got in the pack. It's as simple as that. Let's do it. Right, this is nothing but players, this pack. It's 12 of them, so we'll, we'll use all of them, apart from one who'll be on the bench. So let's see what our next squad is going to be made out of. These games are going to be hard this episode. Who have we got in this pack? It's another rare. It's going to be a centre-back from Germany. It's going to be Havidez, I think. He's decent, 84 rated. We definitely want to keep him for our Bundesliga squad. Robbie Keane, Danilo. These are decent players. Foster, Kramaric, Jorgensen. We've got to get all these guys in. I can't see a left back. There's no left back. We've got to try and get these guys in. We've got two keepers. So we'll choose one of them. The other one will be on the bench. That's the squad we're going to use. Right, let's make a squad out of them. Okay, this is the team I'm going to be using. It's my one pack challenge team. We've got all the guys we packed in the starting 11, plus the goalkeeper who spares our 12th player from the pack. These bronzes will not be playing in the game. They're just there to make up the numbers. So chemistry-wise, we've got 44, which is very low. It's going to be a struggle. We've got a right midfielder playing left back. We've got a striker playing centre mid. I used, I had one uh, striker to CF position change, which I used on Kramaric. Obviously, I didn't have another one spare to use on Robbie Keane to get him down to a cam or anything. So that's the positions we're stuck with. In terms of chemistry, we've got um, yeah, Robbie Keane's on one. Our left back's on two. It's not ideal. No one's on more than seven. So we're looking at the likes of um, Edu and Jorgensen to try and lead the line for us, but only 77 pace each. We're still, we're still struggling for pace, big time in this team. Uh, hopefully Havadez can be a defensive rock for us. Foster can have a good game in goal. It's our first game in Division 7. If we win, we get to use the coins we have 
to improve our squad. I'm looking forward to giving it a go. Let's play. Okay, we got a little bit lucky with our opponents last game. They weren't that fast. These guys, though, oh my god, they've got Sane. He's got on loan Hazard and Batshuayi. He's got Matic. He's got Mata. He's got Kante. Aspilicueta, Mustafi, Vertonghen, Klein, and Brava. That's a decent Premier League team. But we're on good form. I believe my misfits can do this. Come on. Keane. Bang. Kramerich. Looks for Robbie Keane. Robbie Keane's going to get there, aren't you, Robbie? You're going to get there, aren't you, Robbie? Oh, he's got there, but he's lost the ball. We've got it back, though. Corb. Corb. Through ball to Robbie Keane. Robbie Keane puts it inside. Hit it, Jorgensen. We're 1-0 up. We're just a little bit good, aren't we? I mean, yes, it's Division 7, but we are in heaven. The squads that I'm playing with right now, this episode, are average. And they're not even average. They're below par. But Jorgensen says, doesn't matter, mate. I'm a goal machine. Through ball. It's a lovely ball if you can get there. Kramerich strikes it off the post. We've made a very good start with this one-pack challenge team. He's going to hit it with one He's going to lay it off. Oh, he's mugged me right off there. He's just literally played it straight into my box. Okay, it's one all. Not ideal. Let's have another look at this. What's he done here? I mean, it's so simple. Yeah, bad. Don't concede now, lads. Do not concede now, please. Oh, no. Sané's got in there. Oh, what a tackle that is from Havidez. Tight game. I I'd say I'm on top in the first half, though. Oh, he's bringing on Jamie Vardy. Oh, dear. Ballon d'Or nominated. Jamie Vardy is on. And he's got Kante on the pitch already, who wasn't Ballon d'Or nominated. Controversial, no? Oh, no. Vardy's got past me. Vardy's got well past me here. Oh, and it's gone through the hands of the keeper. Are you kidding me? That's not right. Vardy's pace was too much to handle, but I'm disappointed with the goalkeeper on that one. Kramerich beats his man. Come on, Kramerich, you got this. Kramerich, bang, to Edu. Strike it for me. Edu! Oh, what a strike! He didn't hit him very well in the first half, but that is a proper hit. You know what? At half time, I went into team management. I found out what foot he was. I found out he was left footed, so I wouldn't, wasn't really hitting the shots the right way in the first half. This time, I knew he was left footed, so I banged it on the left foot, and that is the result. Two all. You know what? At this stage, I'll take the draw. I'd like to continue, you know, not getting beaten. I've lost only one game this series so far. I'd like to keep that going. There's the final whistle. You know what? Considering we've had two dodgy teams this episode and we haven't lost, I'm happy. Man of the match with the Kramerich in the end. It was a goal each for our two strikers, Jorgensen and Edu. Kramerich got an assist, though, as did Robbie Keane. When we dominated, they had one shot on target and scored two goals somehow. And that means we got one point from our first game in Division 7. It also means we get to keep all those players we got in that pack, which is brilliant. However, we don't get to spend our bank balance because we didn't win the game. Let's move on. OK, we've got one game left this episode. Before we play it, we need to spin the wheel. Bosh. We have got 8,475 coins. That's nice. That's perfect time to get by any player. Nightmare time to get bankrupt. I'd love it if we could go a whole episode without getting bankrupt. That would be lovely, wouldn't it, guys? Let's see what it's going to be, though. Don't, don't go bankrupt. It is by any player. That's perfect. It's literally the perfect thing we wanted. Okay, 8,475 coins. We could get someone lovely. Okay, after careful consideration, I've decided the area of my squads I'd like to improve is my Bundesliga striker option. I haven't really got a striker for this squad, but everything else is looking okay. So we're going to try and find a decent striker for the Bundesliga. Ramos. Goethe is a striker. Hernandez is probably the front runner at this stage, I'd say. Draxler is a striker. I like the Hernandez pace. Yeah, it's probably going to be Chicharito. Could get to and all these guys are strikers, but they're not really out and out strikers. Mario Gomez is an option, but he's not fast enough for my liking. I think we're going to have to go with uh, Hernandez, you know. And the good news is we can get him for as little as 4,200 coins, which is only half our money. Uh, we didn't get that one, though. Can we get another one? Let's get this one. Bang. There we go. 4,200 coins. We've still got 4,275 left. And we've got a decent striker for the Bundesliga. And it is our Bundesliga squad we're going to use now. Chicharito making his debut. We've got Vidal in there. We've got Koeman who's been quality. Dembele's been good. Let's play. Okay, my opponent is the number one beast. He's got Niang, Kellyon, uh, El Shaari. A lot of pace in that Serie A squad. He's got one to watch goalkeeper. Okay, he's got a Barté at right back. Patrice Evra left back. Strootman. It's a good team for the Serie A. Can my Bundesliga boys beat them? I think my Bundesliga squad is my best squad in the Wheel of Fortune Series 2. Will it be in Series 3? Let's find out. Gabriel Selassie running with the ball. Still got it. Go on, Gabriel Selassie. He's done very well here from right back. He's going to pull it back inside to Hernandez on his debut. Chicharito. Oh, he hits it. Almost scores. Put it back in. Got to be a goal. Bang. How have we not scored? I do not know. Oh, 
Connection has been lost with your opponent. Brilliant. What does that mean? It's not going to count it as a game. Okay, fine. It will count as a game on the contracts of the players, of course. That's just a flaw in the EA system. Let's go again. Okay, my opponent is Finn FC. He's got Braithwaite. He's got Dembele, same as me. He's got Jesse Rodriguez. So it's like a Bundesliga, League R hybrid with a bit of BPL at the back. And oh, he's got La Liga as well. There's all sorts going on in there, to be fair. Mangala, Zuma is a decent centre-back partnership. Begovic in goal. Let's see what happens. It's Campbell. Still Campbell, bang it. Kevin, Campbell! Woo! Energetic start from the Bundesliga boys. Dembele, bang. 1-2 of Chicharito on his debut, properly anyway. Bang, he scores. 1-0 to Hernandez, that's what we're talking about. 1-0 to Hernandez, 1-0 to Bundesliga boys and Spencer FC and the Wheel of Fortune, of course, but it was Hernandez that scored the goal. Woo! Sometimes words are hard. Good goal though from Chicharito, that's a sign of things to come. He could get a lot of goals for us this series. Vidal. To Gilavoji. Voji, back to, yes, Dembele, who looks for Vidal, who's continued his run. And he's going to make it 2-0 to us, surely. Yes, he is. We've just got quality throughout this team. What a little run from Vidal. He's probably going to be up there at the end of this series as one of the players of the series. Very consistent, very good. Great running from Vidal. Lovely vision from, I think it was Dembele that played the through ball. And a tidy little finish. Absolute domination in the first half. I'll be gutted if we don't win this game. Is that onside? I think it might be. It might be. Good save. Come on. Well, let's not let him back in this, lads. Comes to Durham, though. We can get it on his left foot and bang it. Can he? Chance. Gilavoji. One more to Vidal. Oh, that's gone in. He's given me a penalty, but I did score anyway. So I hope I scored this penalty. He's only going to give him a yellow card. He should have played advantage, ref. Chance for Vidal to get himself another goal, though. Vidal. Bang. I'll take that. Well done, Vidal. He scored every penalty he's taken for the club. And we're looking good for a win here. 3-0. No saving that one. He went the wrong way. Right, he's got a free kick now late in the game. I'd be gutted if we don't get the clean sheet here. So let's get rid of it, boys. Can we get rid of it? Oh, that's such a shame to lose the clean sheet in the last seconds. We've still won it, of course, but disappointing to say the least. There's the final whistle, though. It is a good result. Now the match goes to Vidal. He got two goals. Hernandez got the other on his proper debut. An assist for Vidal, Gilavoji, and Dembele. Very good. And that win means we've now got four points from two games in Division 7. We're on decent form. It's going well. But that is it for this episode of The Wheel of Fortune. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you have. Leave me a suggestion in the comments below with uh, what sort of hybrid squads you think I could make. Obviously, I've got my individual league squads, but based on the players I've got, maybe you could come up with a good hybrid. Let me know. Make sure you check out the other channels you can see on the screen now and the last episode of The Wheel of Fortune, if you haven't already. Drop a subscription to Spencer FC if you're new, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, don't go changing.